Nintendo constantly has to introduce new enemies in order to keep the games interesting. If they don't introduce new enemies, then people would get angry for sure, so this is something they need to keep in mind. And one way they end up solving this issue is by making variations on existing ones. For example, Goombas. They really started doing this when they released Super Mario Bros. 3. That game is filled to the brim with different types. And so of course, they also started doing this for the Wiggler. And I gotta say, some of these are amazing. And especially recently, they did some cool things with them. So today we will take a look at the different types of Wigglers in order to find out which ones are best. Now let's jump right in. Number 5 now to start off this video, we will look at a type of wiggler that's a bit useless, and we rarely see it as well. To be more specific, it's seen in one game, in only one level. Clearly Nintendo wasn't too interested in using this enemy. I'm talking about the Squiggler, which is a miniature, likely quite young type of wiggler, that first appears in New Super Mario Bros for the Nintendo DS. And unlike normal sized wigglers, squigglers have three body segments, and a head that's about twice the size of their entire body, with a little sprout on top, so their look and proportions are a bit odd. However, that's fine. It still looks very cute in my opinion. Now it's only found in World 7A, and can be seen crawling around the pipes in this level, which is some sort of underground pipe maze area. And unlike normal wigglers, they can be defeated quite easily. You can just stomp on them, throw stuff at them, and more. Now I have covered these little guys before in a video where I talked about enemies that were only seen once. And Again, I will say that I like this little guy. While it doesn't dramatically change the game, it's very cute and just fun. And you could do so much more with them, which I also cover in that other video. And believe me, Nintendo has more than enough options. So I think it's best if you checked out that video to know more. I don't want to repeat myself too much for the people that have seen that video. But be sure to check it out after this one. Number 4 now for our next one, we will actually look at a type of wiggler that doesn't seem fitting with all the others. It's incredibly different compared to all the others, it really brings something new to the table, and I like it. The one I'm talking about is the Flutter, which are winged versions of the wigglers that first appeared in Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island. Now when you see them at first, you might think there is nothing special about them at all. In a lot of ways, it's just like a Koopa Paratroopa, but it actually acts differently differently compared to the standard flying enemy that's almost a glorified floating platform. Now when you hit one of these, they act like a normal wiggler and become completely enraged. And so instead of just flying around aimlessly, they will charge straight for the person that hit them. So these aren't there to be taken advantage of. They will actually counterattack and try to take you out. And especially in large groups, they can be very dangerous. Because then a bunch of them could come after you. Overall, I like them a lot because they are a real threat in the sky. In a lot of ways, it's like a bullseye bill, but you have to trigger it before it really goes off. It embodies a lot of the Wiggler properties, but this time it really can go anywhere thanks to its flying powers. So it really brings new stuff to the table. And in later games, Nintendo uses it in very interesting ways. For example, by putting it in your way. And so you are forced to dodge it or damage it and then deal with its never-ending rage, which means charging attacks. In many ways, the second appearance certainly improved on the first one, because back then they didn't fully utilize them. However, I think it should come back at some point, because you could use it in a lot more levels. Number 3 now for our next enemy, we will take a look at one that isn't really an enemy in my opinion. When you look at it, you will see it's more of an obstacle or trap. And it does a very good job at this as well. It's known as a Fuzzler. And these are caterpillar-like enemies that appear in Super Mario 3D World and Bowser's Fury. And they are actually a cross between a Wiggler and a Fuzzy, which you can clearly see. Now these creatures are always seen riding on switchboard tracks and roll along it in a set path. And that's all they do, roll forward. And when they encounter another one of their kind, they will go in the opposite direction. And aside from that, you can't really defeat them. So you basically have to deal with them. 
Now, all of this might seem boring, but there's actually more to them. In order to understand the appeal of them, we gotta look at one level, Switchboard Falls. This level starts with the player on a switchboard, which is some sort of plank on rails that you can control by standing on the side you want to go to. And another thing you come across is a switch block, which, when hit, changes the direction of the tracks. Now, these two things combined with the fuzzlers really make this level interesting in my opinion. What you need to do is hit the switch block while trying to avoid the nearby fuzzlers that are rolling towards you. And if you fail, then you can't move on to the next area. And the further you go, the more challenging it becomes. In general, things get more and more chaotic. And I think it works really well. Overall, it tests the player's reaction speed and ability to time their jumps well. And that is a core part of the Super Mario experience. And in levels like this with the fuzzlers, you really get a good challenge. And in later games like Bowser's Fury, they build upon it more and more by adding extra enemies and more interesting environments. So I like them, even though it's not really an enemy. Number 2 Alright, now we are really getting to some juicy stuff. Certain types that change the way we look at the Wigglers. And as you could have guessed, our next type is from Super Mario Odyssey, the game that changed everything. Now in this game we saw one boss that certainly made the game very special in my opinion, the Mecha Wiggler, which is a massive insectoid robot that kind of looks like a Wiggler, and this creature actually launches some sort of attack on New Donk City. And the boss fight you have with him is pretty amazing. And that's because you actually get to mess around with a new toy. Now during the fight it attacks you by hurling electric electrical orbs from each of its segments while crawling along the wall. And you must capture a nearby Sherm, avoid or destroy the balls of electricity, and shoot at its weak points, which are the plasma globes all over its body. Once all the globes have been destroyed, it stops moving, allowing you to deal real damage, which it obviously doesn't like. Now at that point, it gets angry, turns orange, starts moving faster, and faces through the wall of City Hall, obscuring itself from your view, sort of. And when it rushes out, it will run in a straight line at immense speed along the ground, heading straight for you. Now, that's basically the fight. Every now and then it will shoot some sort of electrical orb things, but aside from that, it doesn't have any other tricks. Clearly, this boss doesn't have a whole lot of attacks. However, this doesn't mean it's not fun to take on. Now, the best part is obviously the fact that you use a tank to fight this behemoth of a creature. Thanks to this, it's a fast and dynamic fight. It really gives the player a slice of amazing action, and that's just wonderful. It's so different from all the other bosses as well, which makes it memorable and special for sure, and its attacks also help with all of this. Because he throws stuff at you that you must dodge or shoot at, and even if it dashes across the ground, it forces you to move around. So in general, it has a lot going for itself. And it's certainly one of the best Wiggler boss fights seen in the entire franchise. Number 1 now we get to the last gem, and yes, this one is also from Super Mario Odyssey, because they do a lot of amazing stuff with the Wigglers in that game. And I bet a lot of you are thinking that the Mega Wiggler was gonna be number one, but no 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 no. There's another one that raises the bar even higher, by taking it and throwing it on top of the freaking moon. The winner is the Tropical Wiggler, a long colorful variant that looks kind of like an inchworm. Now, they are mostly seen in the Lost Kingdom, which is filled with weird plants, water, creatures, and more. So, this thing is a good fit. Overall, they aren't aggressive, but their spiked body can still cause them to hurt you without really knowing. Now, the interesting thing about these is that they move by stretching their bodies outward like an accordion, and they often do this across pathways. And so this, combined with their coloration, has earned them the nickname Traffic Lights of the Island. And that's also their role as an enemy. They will block pathways, and so you have to wait often and have to watch out all the time. However, that's not even the best part, because in 
this game you can capture almost all the enemies you see of course. And so when you capture it you can travel over poison or lava that fills certain areas. And because of that it's just amazing. You get a lot of interesting movement options thanks to that, which is obviously a good thing for a platforming game. All of a sudden you can extend your body, which allows you to reach around corners, cover long distances and more. And out of all the wigglers it's certainly the most creative one by far. I never saw this coming but now it's a thing. And it should certainly be remembered because it truly does amazing stuff. Thanks for watching everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to leave a like because that really helps me out, it's incredibly important, you'll be surprised. Um, be sure to subscribe and click the bell button. Well, I love you all and I will see you all soon. This was recorded on my birthday, ooh.